rainfall as well. Rural hospitals and health providers often have to send their patients to nearby cities for additional care, and that can send them away from their families. But a $10 million grant for a Bisbee hospital could reduce those situations in southern Arizona. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live at a Copper Queen Community Hospital to explain how. J.D. Ashley, I'm standing in front of the future site of a 27,000 foot square foot facility that will not only improve inpatient services, but also help expand telehealth services also. Necessary equipment that shows blood oxygen levels and this purple IV pump were part of a $1 million grant for Copper Queen Community Hospital in Bisbee. ER nurse Danielle Bouchevet wrote the grant request. The telehealth became super important during COVID. Which is how she managed to write an almost $10 million grant that will help fund a 27,000 square foot surgery and inpatient facility with two operating rooms and two endoscopy rooms. Once that is completed, telehealth services can expand within the current facility on campus. The expansion helps keep patients here near their families instead of going to other places like Tucson. It's difficult. You see um, the anguish on people's faces and, they, and the fear and the concern. It's difficult to, to watch that. If we can keep them here, you know, that's, that's the best. We want our patients to have state-of-the-art facilities. We want our providers to have state-of-the-art facilities to be able to practice in. Copper Queen CEO Rob Seaman says they can now add teletherapy and counseling as well as recruit more providers. Our focus is really on retaining them and making sure that they stay in our community and continue to provide care to our, to our patients. And one way that we can do that is by updating our facility and making sure that we have enough room for them to practice. Gastroenterologist Suzanne Daly lives in Bisbee and says Copper Queen is offering a lot for a hospital in a community this size. The fact that Copper Queen has those and will be able to even expand on the services that are offered just means the world to the community, my neighbors, my friends, the residents um, here in Bisbee as well as the surrounding areas. If we don't have to push people, you know, north we, and we can keep more people here, all the better for everybody. Groundbreaking is expected early next year with the facility in service sometime in 2025. Live in Bisbee, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.